Hello friends, in this video, let's have an introduction about data logging and supervisory control module. In short, we call it as DSE module. DSE module is an add-on software for LabVIEW programming environment. If we do a right click on the log diagram screen, the functions palette will open. In the functions palette, if we click on DSE module, DSE module palette will open. In this DSE module palette, the first option is alarm and event. Using this alarm and event function, if the values are not between a certain range, alarm will be raised. The next function is historical VIs. In DSE module, we store the values in Citadel database. Historical VIs can read the data like shared variable data, alarm and event and historical values of traces which are stored in this Citadel database. And next to historical VIs, we have tag VIs. Usually tags contain values. Using tag VIs, we can read and write these tag values. And next to using shared variable VIs, shared variable related functions can be performed. The next one is engine control VIs. To deploy shared variables, our server libraries programmatically we use engine control VIs. And next is security VIs. We can use security VIs for application related security functions. And historical trend VIs can display graph from Citadel database. And next is real time trend VIs. This real time trend VIs can read live data from shared variables and display it in waveform charts. Statistical process control can perform SPZ methods. We can do control charts, Pareto charts and process statistics. So these are the DSE module function related to block diagram. Next we can move on to friend panel. Similarly if we do a right click on friend panel, controls palette will open. In this control palette if we click on DSE module, we can view DSE module palette. In this DSE module the first option is 2D control. Using the valves, pipes and pumps from this 2D controls we can construct SCADA program with the boolean objects. Next to 2D control we have 3D control. This is similar to 2D control. And next is vessels. Using vessels also we can construct SCADA programs with the numeric objects. And next we have alarm control. Alarm control is used to display alarm on front panel. And next trend control. Trend control can display trends. And this static process control can display control charts, Pareto charts and process graphs. So using DSE module we can develop distributed monitoring and control system. Next on tool menu. Click on DSE module and then select view historical data and so historical data viewer window will open. Here we can view the historical data. Then close this window. Then again go to tools menu. Click on DSE module and if we select image navigator image navigator window will open image navigator contain default images using these images we can create controls and indicators images in the image navigator are separated into different categories the image which we select can be viewed on the preview area with their respective names by scrolling down we can see many categories and each category contain multiple images. Whatever image we need, we can choose it and use. To use these images in our program, we have to select a image and drag and drop it wherever required. For example, if I need a turbine image in my program, I can select turbine image from power category and just drag and drop it. So this is how we have to use images from image navigator. So in this video, we have just seen the introduction of DSE module. In our next video, we can see the next topic. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and support. Thank you.